So let us now talk about the system, excretory system in case of human beings. Now this excretory system, it comprises of two kidneys, two ureters, one urinary bladder and one urethra. So these are the parts of the complete system. Now we will first take up the kidneys, how they appear from outside, their location and then we will come to the internal structure and the actual system. So when we talk of these kidneys, each kidney in case of humans is located in the lower abdominal region on the posterior side. Now this is just a general idea but if we want to be very very specific where exactly the location is. So we would write location as and here we have to take care of the two kidneys separately. We'll talk about that. The kidneys are located just along on both the sides of the spine and in front of the 12th thoracic vertebra and first to third lumbar vertebra or lumbar vertebrae. That means if this is the kidney and here is the last thoracic that is the 12th thoracic so 12th thoracic, then 1st lumbar, the 2nd lumbar and the 3rd lumbar. So on either side of 12th thoracic, 1st, 2nd and 3rd lumbar, these kidneys are present. And the left kidney is slightly upper, that is this is the exact position of the left kidney. Right kidney is slightly lower as compared to the left one. So this is the perfect location of the left kidney and the right one is slightly lower. So here we would write this is the location like in front of or rather on both the sides of the spine along the 12th thoracic, 1st, 2nd and 3rd lumbar. The right kidney is slightly lower than the left. So if we have to arrange them, the left kidney if suppose is here, the right one is slightly lower than this. And the reason is the right one is pushed by the liver because the right kidney is pushed by liver. And that is why it is slightly lower as compared to the left one. So this is the location. Now if you talk about the size, it is about 5 inches in length. So size wise, about 5 inches long. And when we talk of the shape, it is bean shaped. Bean shaped. It is exactly the same as we talk of kidney shape or bean shape. But we are talking of kidney, so we cannot say it is kidney shape. We would have to compare it with the shape of the beans. That means the shape is going to be something like this. There is a concavity and this is how the shape is going to be. Now if we talk about the weight, how much heavier these kidneys are. So in case of males, they are slightly heavier as compared to females. So 120 grams to 170 grams in case of males and 120 grams to about 140 grams in case of females. So in females they are slightly uh, lighter as compared to males. So this is like a brief thing about the external appearance of the kidney. As we said the shape is bean like this concavity which we see is known as the hilum. Now we will take up this structure and see how the layers are. So now let us talk about this kidney and draw its structure. As we said it is a bean shaped structure 
and here there is a concavity. This concave side, this is known as the hilum. Now, this black line which we have drawn is the layer which is actually made up of fibrous tissue, white fibrous. And this layer is known as the fibrous capsule. This capsule is surrounded by a layer of fat which is known as the renal fat. So here this thick red band or area which we have drawn is the renal fat. It acts as a shock absorber. Acts as shock absorber. So the innermost is fibrous capsule which is made up of white fibrous tissue. And white fibers are collagen fibers which are tough fibers. So this layer gives it the shape, rigidity and protects the things which are inside. Outside this, there is one more layer. That means outside the fat, there is one more fibrous layer. And this fibrous layer is known as the renal fascia. So there are three layers. This blue one which we have drawn is known as renal fascia. So there are three layers. Innermost is fibrous layer which is again tough. It is made of a white fiber, white fiber or white fibrous tissue. Then second layer outside the fibrous capsule is fat layer and this fat is known as renal fat and it can also be termed as renal fatty capsule. And the outermost layer is again a fibrous layer and it is known as renal fascia. Now this concave area is hilum and in this hilum what we see are three structures. There is a renal artery which goes in. So there is one artery which we would see going in. So this would be called renal artery. We would see renal vein leaving and here what we are showing is we are showing it close to this. So this is the renal vein which is leaving and from the same hilum we also see a big funnel shaped structure coming out. So from here we would see a funnel shaped structure coming out that is the ureter. So this broad funnel like area is actually the renal pelvis. Renal pelvis. And this broad structure which is coming out is actually the ureter. So what we see, this inner part is not going to be visible to us. What we see is only this much. Here we would see a concavity and that concave surface is known as the hilum. And in this concave region, we would see one artery going in, that is renal artery. A vein is coming out, that is renal vein. And a broad funnel shaped structure which becomes a narrow tube later on. So this broad area is known as the renal pelvis. And when it gets a little narrower, like here, then we start calling it ureter. So this is what we see from outside. Now location we have seen, location is left kidney is slightly higher that is uh, along with 12th thoracic, 1st, 2nd and 3rd lumbar. The right one is slightly lower as compared to the left one. But the upper part of both the kidneys are protected by the last two ribs, 11th and 12th ribs. They protect the upper part only. Now above the kidney, there is a gland also which is known as suprarenal or adrenal gland. We are not drawing that gland here. So what are the structures that we see? There is an artery which is going in. So this takes the blood in and the vein is going to take the blood out. And a ureter, a tube-like thing emerges from this hilum. 
the tube has wide opening, a funnel shaped opening which is sort of embedded into this hilum and we see only a narrow tube coming out. So this is what is visible to us from outside. Now in the next part we will draw the complete system and then we will take the longitudinal section of the kidney and see what exactly is inside. Let us draw the complete system now. So the two kidneys and whenever we draw the human uh, body or human body related parts we have to remember that we are going to draw it like this. So this is going to be the right side, this is going to be the left side if you are seeing it like this. Imagine this is the kidney which is placed in my body. So this is how the sides are going to be. But when we draw it, it is drawn like this in a cross. So this would become the left and this would become the right. So this is how we are. This is the right. This is left. Again same. This becomes right. This becomes left. So when I am standing in front of it, we are going to see it like this. This is the right side, so this would be right kidney. This is the left side, so left kidney. But when I am drawing it, I would label it like this. So that the left remains left. When I am drawing, I see my hands crossed. But when I am straight in front of it, it is still the same direction. So this is going to be the right kidney. So this one is right kidney. And as we said, the right one is slightly lower as compared to the left one. So we will draw the left kidney which is slightly above, slightly higher as compared to the left one. So this one becomes the left kidney. And here we are not drawing all the layers which we just now saw. What we are going to see are the two ureters which emerge. So these are the two tubes which, is, which are coming out. Here the opening is from the wide side that is funnel like and then it gets narrower. These ureters, they open into urinary bladder. So these tubes, these are ureters. And these ureters are lined with transitional epithelium lined with transitional epithelium. Here are also three layers. So there is innermost transitional epithelium, then there is a muscular layer and fibrous. So this is the innermost, then muscular layer and then outermost is fibrous. So here also there are three layers. So it is three layers are there. The innermost is transitional epithelium, then middle is muscular and fibrous. This is the outermost layer. So these are the three layers which we find in ureter. Ureters open into the bladder, that is urinary bladder. And urinary bladder opens out through this narrow tube which is called urethra. So this bag like structure is urinary bladder. Now these two ureters, they actually open from the side like this into the bladder. So though we draw it like this, to be very precise, the opening would be from the side. So it is going to open like this from the side and there is a specific reason for this kind of entry. Let me change this also. So it is coming from here and entering from the side. So the reason, let me just change. This is urinary bladder so the arrow has to go like this and so it enters from the side. Now the reason is when it enters from the side and when the bladder uh, releases the urine that is by micturition there is no reason why the urine should go back. So this angular opening prevents that backflow of the urine. 
So if we actually see this closely, here there are three openings that we see. This is the urethra, which is a tube. Uh, it is shorter in case of females. It is longer in case of males. And this is the, if you imagine this tube, this is the outer opening and this would be the inner opening of the tube. And here there are two openings that is of the ureters. So here we find there are three openings in this uh, region. So this is known as the trigemina. There are three openings here. So this is how the system is. There are two kidneys location we have seen. From both arise these tubes which are ureters. Each ureter is lined with three layers. Innermost is transitional epithelium. Then muscular layer and outermost is again a fibrous layer. Both these ureters open into urinary bladder and urinary bladder opens out through a tube which is called urethra and urethra is shorter in case of females and is longer in case of males. So this is the urethral orifice or opening. So this is how we draw the system. Now in the next segment, we would take up the longitudinal section of the kidney and we would see the structures which are inside it.